Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today's video, I am doing my 40 week pregnancy update with baby number four. Um, am I surprised that I'm so pregnant? Not at all. <laughs> like when they gave me my due date, I added two weeks to it and gave that as my due date because otherwise like I just feel like I'll go a little bit crazy. Um, first and foremost, welcome to today's video. If you're new around here, hi, my name is Janine. I'm a stay at home mom to almost four girls and I live in Arizona where it's incredibly hot right now, but I'm cold inside. I'd love to have you join and subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but you're always welcome to. You can also follow me on my Instagram. I'll put it somewhere here. Also, I forgot to mention before I start, I'm sorry if the quality of this video is not the best. I ended up selling my last camera um, only because um, it, it's a great camera. I absolutely love it. The problem is that it overheats when I start to film like 20, 30 minutes and it's not going to come till mid-August. That's the only bummer. So until then, we're just going to have to do with my phone. I hope that's okay. I don't know. There are some new-ish things going on, I guess you could say. Some things that I've never experienced before. Um, so if most of you don't know, I have never had a hospital birth. I've always given birth naturally, like pain-free, not like vaginally naturally. Um, but you know, medication free at a birth center in a home with midwives and doulas and all that stuff. This time around is a little bit different because first of all, I live an hour away from that place and now I'm five minutes away from my current hospital, which happens to have a midwife area, which is great because I like how hands off they are, but I am going to be getting induced. Um, my date to get induced is actually on the 10th of August, which is funny because my camera comes in on the 11th. Kind of stinks, but that's okay. So, oh, hi, baby. Oh my gosh, hi. You're stretching. Aww. I go in, my husband and I go in at 7.30 a.m on the 10th to get induced if she doesn't come before. So I will be 41 weeks and three days pregnant. Um, so I've never, ever, ever experienced that before. I've never been induced in my, not medically induced at least. I've done like, you know, membrane sweeps. I've done castor oil, which by the way, never worked for me. I don't care how far along it was. It never worked for me. I did blue and black cohosh with my first one. Never do that again in my life. That was a scary experience, <laughs> not gonna lie. I really just, you know, just hope for the best. And the membrane sweeps are usually what, after a few of them, are usually what got me going into labor. But at the times that they didn't help me get into labor, really stinked because I wasted so much of my energy and my time trying to help the crampiness progress during the day and never got me anywhere. This will be the first time that I actually like go in and check into the hospital and like the process for induction starts like medically medical induction and um part of me about part of me is like looking forward to it and excited just because I have like a date now you know what I mean like I know for a fact if she doesn't come nine days from now I will have started at least the process so I've heard sometimes it can take one two three days um, but I'm hoping that it goes relatively fast for me only because I've had three other babies and my body already knows what to do. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, but you never know. So because we're also in the middle of a pandemic, I have to take a COVID-19 test. So I go in on Monday to take that test. I would be really surprised if I came out um, positive for that. And not to mention, I really think that I did have COVID in the beginning of the year. Um, I was sick for like three weeks, it would not go away, and I had all symptoms of a flu, including like a strep throat. I went to urgent care, they did a flu test, they did a strep throat test, they both came back negative, they're like, I don't know what it can be. <laughs> so now I'm like, hmm, I'm wondering if that's it, because my husband also, um, you know, traveled to Seattle and stuff like that for work, and it was actually really big in Seattle in the very beginning. So I'm going to take my COVID test. Monday morning because I have to take it 
do that on Monday, which is what, the third? Today's the first, second, third. Yeah, the third I go in for the COVID test. I wait for my results. I have to swap self quarantine until I come in on the 10th. I think I'll be extra, extra careful because I really would like to not have to wear a mask. And that's the plus side about getting medically induced, like getting it in the books. It's because I'll have to take a COVID test and then you know, if that comes back negative, then I am free to not have to wear a mask, which would be such a relief because otherwise, if I go in spontaneously, I would have to wear a mask, which I would manage. There, there's been plenty of moms who've given birth with a mask on throughout this whole pandemic. So I, I, know, it's, I know it's something I can do. That's another big reason as to why I'm deciding to go to a hospital and get epidural this time compared to the last three is because when when I am in labor and I'm having a natural pain me medication free labor, um, it really comes down to your breath. And if I have a mask on, I'm already struggling <laughs> wearing, not wearing a mask and then wearing a mask when I do have to wear a mask, it's hard on its own. And then I'm in the middle of summer in Arizona where it's currently like 115 degrees outside and um, it's just a recipe for disaster so I'm gonna just try to have a pleasant experience and do the epidural I've never had one before so we'll see how it goes I do have the only the only time I would not be quarantined at home would be when I go in for my 41 pregnancy 41 week pregnancy like appointment with my midwife which is um, the day before I turn 41 weeks on Thursday. So Monday I have the COVID test, quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. And then Thursday I have the midwife appointment, which I'm also doing an ultrasound that day just to make sure, you know, like she has enough, I don't know, the placenta is doing well, that there's enough amniotic fluid in there, that she's not distressed. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do an NST that day. I've had I've had to have an NST with all of my girls. Um, so I don't know, I don't know how this place works, but usually when I hit 41 weeks, I do an NST. So they haven't brought that up yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. So um, although I, I never did do an ultrasound at 41 weeks, it was always only the NST. So maybe it's just like one or the other kind of a thing. But yeah, it'll be exciting to see baby again, you know, at 41 weeks, I've never had an ultrasound that late ever. So I think that would be really exciting. Um, I'm just hoping everything goes well. And in the meantime, I'm really just doing a lot of exercises. I'm doing the mild circuit. I'm drinking res red raspberry leaf tea. I'm gonna stay away from castor oil. I'm staying away from really anything like I'm not gonna do the spicy food thing or the pineapple thing, the whole citrus thing. Um, I'm not gonna do anything other than sex and red raspberry leaf tea. And that's not to get me into labor, that's more just to help me with labor and after labor. And then um, also doing the exercise. I haven't had any anything, I haven't had like any bloody show, I haven't had any signs of labor coming at all. I think at my 39 week pregnancy appointment, I was not even a fingertip, or I, I thought I was a fingertip, and she tried to do a sweep, but there was no way. And then at my 40 week appointment, we got checked. And you know, I was like, ah, I don't think I wanna do it. Let's just, you know, let's just kind of skip it or whatever. But then when she checked my abdomen, and she measured from, you know, my pelvic bone to the top of my uterus, I was measuring small. And the week before that, I measured small a bit. So she's like, oh, I think she, she dropped a bit, you know, because she's moving, her heart rate was good and everything. And um, I have no concerns there. So I thought, yeah, I mean, like, I my waddle is strong and like my pelvic muscles and bones and ligaments just like, they hurt all the time. And so, you know, we all was like, when she said that, when she said that I was measuring even smaller, I thought, oh, well, maybe she's dropped and she's put enough pressure on my cervix and I've, you know, maybe I've thinned out a bit more or maybe I'm even dilated to a centimeter and we can do a membrane sweep. So I'm like, all right, what the heck, why not? But if I'm not even a centimeter, let's not even worry about it and let's not do a sweep. And she's like, yeah, that sounds like a plan. And so <laughs> we go to check and sure enough, she's like, honey, I just can't like you're, 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 yeah, you haven't made any progress. Like last time I was told I was a quarter of a centimeter and I'm basically still at that point. She said, you know, um, cervix, ex 
stuff. She said my cervix is like a funnel, but like an upside down funnel instead of like so. She says I'm like this. So the very like front of my cervix is soft, like it's soft, it's it's good. Um, but once she, you know, she tries to get in there, my cervix is still long. It hasn't shortened at all, so it's still long, and um, which you know isn't a sign of any progress. Once you get to the actual opening of the cervix or the internal os, like she cannot even get her fingertip in there. Like it's just, I feel like if anything, I went backwards or something. So it's like really, um, but she, yeah, she's like I, I tried, but I, you know, like. I, I don't want to just give you cramps all day and make you uncomfortable. So I was like, yeah, let's not, let's not even go there. Anyway, we talked about some other things I can do besides the mild circuit. I've been doing some like really deep squats. I've been living on my freaking birthing ball, which I should be sitting on right now, but I'm not. I don't know. I think I'll, I'll do a vlog of some sort or maybe like I'll do like a baby watch vlog for the week. I hope I make some sort of progress at my 41 week appointment. I don't even know if I'm going to want to check, to be honest with you, because at that point, like, uh, it just is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just excited with, I'm excited that I have an end date. I've never had that before, and it's actually pretty freaking cool. Part of me is like, gosh, I wish I could have done it sooner. Um, but no, I think like I'm giving her enough time. I don't want to rush her and be like, okay, I'm 40 weeks now. Let's get you out. Um, I want to, to give her the opportunity to come out when she's ready, but I think about 41 weeks and three days, um, that's about the time I had my third one. Yeah, I think that's basically it guys. Um, I mean, we're literally on the baby watch mode now, so I'm really excited. I'm just going to be doing like a week, weekly vlog for the whole 41 week thing. I don't think I'm going to do like a city sit down 41 week pregnancy update video. So, um, yeah, just keep an eye out for that. It'll probably, probably be out around the same time as this video. We'll see. We'll see if, um, she decides to come out on her own or if I shall be getting induced. I do not know, but I will keep you guys updated with everything. Um, again, if you like to see more, you can always follow me on my Instagram at the messy beautiful, the dot messy dot beautiful. And, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna basically keep it at that. But let's go ahead and do the bump shot and I'll show you guys, um, yeah, what that looks like. Nothing, nothing major has changed. Ugh. Just the fact that I can't get up very easily and I'm not sleeping well. Okay, this is the bump. This is from the side. This is the front here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you guys all in my next video where we are officially on baby walk.